Greetings so much with comic book readers and the kids out there. Michael Con Frontline here and welcome to my comic review from Archie Comics. As you can see from the title, I'll be reviewing Sonic Universe, issue number 92, The Case of the Pirate Princess, part 2 of 4. For this issue, I thought of getting the Shinobi variant, because uh, it has Espio on the cover, and uh, I thought it looked really cool, so I thought of picking up uh, this cover other than uh, the regular one. But uh, getting into this issue, so we found out last time that Team Chaotix with Lieutenant Echo and Razor were captured by the pirates who have Princess Andina that was uh, on there. So uh, in the beginning of this comic book, things just got a little bit out of hand where uh, there are people that were about to fight. Razor was doing the whole uh, betrayal thing where uh, he wanted to... Uh, try to um, see what was going on and everything and Vector actually doing something here and by the way the artwork is classically drawn as always so Vector says instead of just not saying that we only surrender we would like to join your crew now at first I'm thinking bad idea but I think I know what he's trying to do of joining the crew and maybe just maybe saving the princess that way because Espio was uh, trying to understand that, but then he uh, said, I, I know what I'm doing. Therefore, he kind of was thinking the same thing I, that I was thinking after uh, all that. So then the captain like gives them a new assignment. After uh, the princess said Lieutenant Echo uh, could join them and everything, for that matter. And then for that... The princess actually tells Vector the story about how she got uh, kidnapped. And from what it looks like, that they said that they were going to send her home after the parents paid them and stuff like that, which they haven't. And from what I'm getting from the princess, I think she's getting too naive and not knowing that they're just using her to get things. But, you know, I mean, I'm just saying uh, that's what I think the princess is being, naive. And then SBO was talking with the new crew, and we also get this uh, chemistry thing between Razor and Blade of their backstory, and then how uh, they were fighting with each other a little bit, and, uh, you know, they had, like, a little bit of their differences, and as you can see, you know, um, that's how it happened right here after the argument, that they just put their uh, differences aside <coughs> for that. So, uh, as I was saying, you know, like, so on the pirate ship, they're starting to move out and to use uh, the car to tie it down because they're going to be going underwater like a submarine and everything. And Espio was trying to talk to Princess Adina, or Dina, as they want to call him. And he's just like saying, you know, uh, rather literally and everything else, uh, that they're just uh, using you and that, uh, you know, we're just worried about you and stuff like that. So, um, you know, she's just not uh, getting uh, what's going on. So, uh, as for that, um, Charmy is like saying, you know, uh, that he wants to dress like a pirate and uh, they want to make sure if Razor is uh, still on their side. So, we're just going to have to see because now that they're going off to sea, they're just uh, going to see what happens next. So, thanks to some quick thinking, the Chaox got out of some hot water. Or did they just jump off the deep end? The piracy antics continue next time in the next issue. And I'll so show that preview cover in just a moment. Just want to show you this uh, off pound right here. And this actually was really funny because uh, there was a joke of uh, saying, uh, you know, with the dress uh, code thing, of uh, being the investigator, like alligator, and then he just says, I'm a crocodile. And then she said, you're a killjoy, and I thought that was funny. And here's the preview cover of the next issue of Sonic Universe, issue number 93, Case of the Pirate Princess, part 3 of 4. Regular and variant cover. And, uh, we're gonna... Get into more pirate adventures of the Chaotix who are 
gonna now get off of being detectives and being pirates. So, this was a fun read, I must say. <laughs> I got a little tickle right here. And I'll definitely say to pick up this issue. Rating, I'll give this... 4 out of 5 stars. The artwork was classically drawn amazing, as always, and the story was great. And I'm actually, uh, did not really expect that they were going to join the crew, although I kind of maybe figured it out a little bit just so that way they could save the princess, who is, once again, being naive. That's my opinion. I don't know if you guys feel the same or different as I do about this issue of the princess, but, uh, we're going to have to see, uh, we have two more parts to the story. So we're going to see how they're going to get out of this, if they do, and what will happen next. But until then, that is my comic review of Sonic Universe, issue number 92, Case of the Pirate Princess, part 2 of 4. Before I go, <coughs> and get rid of this tickle, uh, don't forget to check out sources of comicfrontline.com, zone4podcast.com, and the YouTube game channel, Frontline Gaming Zone, the normal source for comic and game related news, views, and a whole bunch more. Click that subscribe button so it will be in your subscription boxes and you won't miss out on any videos that we do right here on Comic Frontline. And in the comment section, leave your comments, thoughts, likes, dislikes, or any questions you have about this comic book. Let me know and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So once your comic book readers and the kids, Mike from Comic Frontline saying take care and as always, don't forget to keep watching. Later everybody.